Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DFU tutorial. Today I'll be walking you through the process of setting up a DFU specific indicator on your charts. And in this case, we'll be covering the DFU relative strength line as shown at the top right here on your screen. First things first, let's go ahead and X out the existing DFU relative strength line and set this up completely fresh. So the first step is to go up to the indicators button, click this, which brings up the search bar. And let's go ahead and search DV for DFU. This brings up a list of all the existing DFU specific indicators and we'll be continually adding to this list. And for the purposes of this tutorial, let's go ahead and add the DFU relative strength line. You can see it's now added to the main symbol chart and to move it above to a new pane, let's go ahead and click these three dots here, move to, and then a new pane above. There you go, you now have it set up on your charts and let's walk through very quickly what this indicator represents. So basically the DFU relative strength line shows how the stock right here, the main symbol is performing versus a specified symbol in these settings. And by default, we have it set versus the SPY, which gives the user a sense of how the stock is performing versus the rest of the market. You can definitely go ahead and change this symbol by clicking this button right here and entering any symbol you wish. Maybe you want it versus the NASDAQ ETF or the Russell 2000 ETF. You can essentially go ahead and change it to whatever suits your style the best. Acting that out, you can also go ahead and change the period of the moving average that we have here on the charts. By default, we have the 21 EMA, and whenever the stock or the relative strength line of the stock is above that reference moving average, we highlight it in blue, and when it's below, you can see it's highlighted in pink. Uh, go ahead and change this moving average to whatever you would like, and you can also alter between SMA and EMA. Moving down to the bottom of this pop-up, you can see a few different options to edit the look of your indicator. Uh, for instance, you can hide different aspects, such as the relative strength line, new high indicator, the green dot, the relative strength line, new high before price, pink dot, as well as the moving average itself, and also the crossover indicator when the stock pushes through that moving average. Uh, but we'll go ahead and uncheck all of these because I like that setup. And let's also go ahead and show you how to change the visibility and style of your moving average. And you can see right here, you can change the colors. You can also change the look of the relative strength line check it and uncheck it as well, and also change how those different indicators pop up on the chart. Once you've edited the look of the indicator to suit your preferences, you can also go over to the visibility tab and edit what time frames it will show up on. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and press the OK button, and there you go, you now have your relative strength line set up in DeepView for use in your analysis. Thanks so much for watching, and take care.